And welcome back to episode 6 of the City of Charlatan in City Skylines. Um, yeah, here we just got a bit of a overview, some nice screenshots of, of what's coming today in the build. So what we're essentially focusing on is a low residential um, suburb adjacent to the city. Um, I would see it as a fairly affluent suburb. Um, and it's at its heart there's a large farmers market and that would be due to its proximity to the local produce and farms like the the fruit farm we did in the previous episode yeah so here's exactly where we left off last time with our little fruit farm and yeah let's scout out the area so my thinking was to place it between Charlatan Manor and the heart of the city there as the first kind of like joining suburb between the two sections and then that bottom piece there that's going to be reserved for the next episode but yeah let's get into a bit of a speed build enjoy This road layout took me way longer than I wanted it to, but yeah, I eventually got it to work. I think it actually flows quite nicely now. Um, the sole reason I struggled with it is mostly because of how the node system works in City Skylines. It's it's frustrating. 
Um, but you also don't want intersections too close to each other because that just creates unnecessary backlog and traffic and um, interjection that you just can't get rid of. Um, and I think that can lead to crippling a whole city just because of something silly as that. But yeah, here I play with uh, a lot of textures and different road layouts until I got something that I really liked. Um, but yeah, as far as the asset spawning in goes, I, I tried all kinds of things until I eventually got it to come in. Turns out it was actually a... Um, what's it? A policy issue, that's it. Um, which, yeah, more often than not, if you're struggling to get a specific aesthetic or look or something that you want in a, in a very specific area to come up without something like ploppable Rico, um, then yeah, it's it's just getting the policies right, getting the zoning right, and being patient and playing playing whack-a-mole. That's that's really all this comes down to. Um, but yeah, let's carry on with the time lapse. You'll see what I mean shortly. <laughs> I finally got the assets to sit the way I wanted um, and then yeah just label them as historic buildings that way I know they're not going to level up and change or unspawn um, I know at the moment there's a lot of error in the city in terms of the commercial buildings not having enough workers but I mean that's purely because the city hasn't grown enough yet I mean, 2,700 people in this town and way more jobs available than there are people but yeah, so that in time will come and it'll fix itself as the city expands. I'm not too concerned, even though 
looking at those little flashing errors all the time is super annoying but it it does balance out in time um, so yeah now that I've got the, the market area the way I like it just making sure the entrance look good doing some road markings copying the colors etc um, but yeah let's carry on with the speed build So yeah, here I'm just doing my usual. I add in, I do add in a lot of green space in my cities, um, mostly because yeah, I think cities need them. It's good for people. Um, it's good for the area. It makes it look aesthetically nice. It cleans up the air. It, it helps with sound pollution. So yeah, the benefits. It's always going to be outweighing the just a big old fat suburb, but. Yeah, and obviously I do like it. Um, we are, my wife and I do strive to be fairly decent homesteaders, I'd say. And yeah, so for us, green spaces are important. Um, so yeah, here's just another little city park. You'll see I'll scatter them throughout the city as we go. Um, and I tend to keep them fairly minimalist, just a little walking path and a, a handful of amenities. Um, so none of the parks generally level up very high, but that's because I don't just go in and cram every little asset I can into it purely just to try and get it to to level up. I try and keep it a little more realistic. You know, if it's a if it's a bland park, it doesn't deserve a three-star rating. It's just that simple. 
Um, so here I'm just adding a bit of education in before I focus on a larger suburb with proper schooling systems in it. Um, so that will just be a little community college or arts college or something of the sorts. Um, getting the zoning right, the naming convention for each suburb. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this one. But yeah, I'll let the time lapse run a little longer so you can see how I kind of finished up the city. And then, yeah, we'll see you for the next one.